Hey guys, this is just going to be a super quick tutorial on how to bring custom components into Grasshopper. So it's real simple to do this. Um, basically, if you go on the internet and you go to this website called Food for Rhino, you can find heaps of real helpful stuff in here. Um, these are all add-ons for Grasshopper, and so you can see some of our, some of the most downloaded ones here. So things like Kangaroo, a physics engine, is really, really useful. Same as Python, it's just for scripting, Lunchbox, or uh, Mesh Edit. So we're going to take a look at this. Oh, we're just going to use this Mesh Edit one here. I'm going to go into here. Um, and basically, you need to make an account for Food for Rhino, and then you'll be able to straight away download this link, which is exactly what we want. And so we're going to go back into Grasshopper. And so in order to load a component or a plugin into Grasshopper, uh, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can go into the File menu, uh, into the File drop-down, go to Special folder, Folders, go to the Components folder, and uh, you'll see this folder here drop by, uh, pop open, and it's the Grasshopper Libraries folder. Um, you can also, by your Rhino command line, go to Grasshopper Folders, and then click components and that'll load up the exact same folder. So we're just going to grab this file which I downloaded already. It's the mesh edit component. Uh, we'll cut that and we'll paste it into here. And so now we're almost good to go, um, except it won't actually pop into Grasshopper until you reload it. And so we're just going to unload the plugin and then we're going to reload Grasshopper and now we've got all these extra components such as the mesh flip, unify normals, weld vertices as well as mesh from points, a super useful component. Alright, so uh, that's, that's how you load custom components into Grasshopper.